So after a really successful first testing video of Bloom Chic, we're going in for a second time. Uh, we've got all those autumn vibes. I keep saying this in every video, but I'm so ready for autumn. Uh, so we've definitely got some cute transitional pieces uh, from Bloom Chic this time. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And welcome to my channel and um, hello if you are new there I'm Becky and I do plus-size fashion with a little bit of beauty and a little bit of lifestyle thrown in occasionally as well and I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and um, if you love hauls then I think you should definitely hit that big red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up it really does mean the world to me and hello to all my lovely regulars thank you for joining me um, please leave me a comment down below what your favorite item was in this haul I love to know and um, so just so you guys know this haul is sponsored by Bloom Chic thank you so much for supporting my channel um, it really doesn't mean the world to me um, but I am allowed to speak my own mind speak my own opinions as I always say the camera doesn't lie um, so if something looks bad it looks bad <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're just letting me share the clothes with you, uh, help you get to know the brand, etc. So I also have a discount code, pop that on the screen now and also all my links are affiliated in um, the description box down below. So if you are interested in picking anything up, I would love it if you'd use my links. Um, so if you haven't watched my last video, I'll pop it up here and you'd have seen this little cheeky number i think this is just such a fun dress and that's kind of the overall vibe with bloom chic oh mum's just got home if you heard that bang um they're a lot like Shein, but they're doing a lot of different um, styles and patterns and stuff. So I do think they ship out of China, but they have a lot of different things going on um, compared to Shein. So if you like Shein, it's a similar situation, but just a little bit different. Also, they do go up to a size 26 uh, UK, uh, and they will be going up to a 30 come the new year. So that's really exciting. Um, I have opened the parcel already. As so I have opened everything already, so I'm gonna take you through the tops and jackets and then oh, I've picked up a lot of dresses. You know me guys, I love a dress. So let's get into the haul. Um, so just to show you the items do come in, these classic um, Ziploc bags. I really like them though. I find these Ziploc bags really, really useful, uh, especially for like travel, uh, packing your shoes and stuff. Uh, so always keep them they do come in handy and um, so first up i got one of these um the, the, the name escapes me flannel jackets that's the one i love a flannel jacket um i get i've got a couple that i literally wear so much um, and i just saw this green and thought it was really cute this is really nice like forest green with some like blue check um, it's so nice and um, so it is a bit of like a straight cut at the bottom it's definitely kind of like um, it's not oversized it's definitely more not fitted kind of like a boxy look I did get this in 26 just so it was a little bit more oversized um, I think we will be all good it does have um, a nice thickness to it it's not too too thick though um, but it's definitely like a nice layering piece I think it will look really really cute with um, some jeans and maybe like a white top um, and some trainers on or something just keeping it really casual um, some little battle up cuffs um, yeah I'll, these jackets are always trendy um, in autumn winter I feel like if you get one now it, you'll still wear it in years to come um, so this is a hundred percent polyester um, I just love the vibes. I think it's really, really cute. Love the colours. I don't own a lot of this kind of like forest green. Um, but yeah, so it's a little bit different for me. But yeah, you can't go wrong with these jumpers. Um, so let's... Jumpers? Or shirts. So let's try it on. So guys, here is this um, flannel jacket, as they call it. A jacket slash shirt. Um, I do love these for autumn, winter. And I do like trying them out from all different brands just so you kind of 
know what the vibe is because I feel like they're all the same but they're all different at the same time and um, so this one does have the jingly buttons I feel like that is a bit of a trend with these types of jackets um but the color is really really beautiful um, I really want to find a burgundy one I feel like last year there was burgundy ones everywhere and now the year that I want a burgundy one I can't find one anywhere so if you see a burgundy one let me know um but I just picked this one up because um I just thought it was quite unique colorway um so you've got this beautiful like forest green navy gray and cream um you have got a couple of little baby pockets up here no pockets down here and here is the back it is quite um long it's got a good length and it would it would do up if i wanted it to however it would be a bit snug um, and again the sleeves aren't too too big there's definitely room for a jumper underneath as well if you wanted to layer it here is an up close of the flannel very soft it isn't lined but it isn't actually too itchy or anything so yeah, I think Bloom Sheep do a nice little um, flannel shacket. I keep forgetting the name. Flannel shacket, what a name. <laughs> so up next we have <laughs> this ball of tan material. So the package did came very tightly packed um, and this definitely um, needs an iron or something. It's so, so creased. Um, and it's very, very lightweight. It's a lot more lightweight than I was expecting. Um, so this could be a great little jacket on days when it's still a little bit warm. Um, but yeah, very lightweight, cropped, kind of boxy jacket. It is super, super cute. I did think the material might be a bit thicker, um, but I still think you get the overall vibe. Uh, again, I think this would look really, really cute with um, like a white top and some jeans. Um, just a little bit different. The material does feel really, really nice though. Not rough or anything. Um, I got this in a 24, which is a 2XL. Um, and this is 100% polyester as well. Um, I thought there would have been a bit of cotton in here just because it's so creased. And um, so I definitely need to hang this up. Uh, we have got some little pockets and they are real here in the front. Um, I basically saw this on a model on like their homepage um, for the new in. I was like, I have to have it. I think once I've got the creases out, I think it's actually gonna look a lot cuter and kind of, um, you know, sometimes you take stuff out of the packet and you're like, oh, you're a bit disappointed. But I feel like once it's kind of like aired out a bit, I think it's actually gonna be cute. So let's give it a go now. So guys, as I kind of expected from earlier, I'm just, not loving it um the style's not really working for me it's it's very like boxy and cropped but also it's very the material is very thin it does feel cheap i'm just gonna say it it feels cheap um and also they, they, these annoying buttons that like jingle like these are a pet peeve of mine um so yeah i will not lie to you i'm a bit disappointed i saw it on the model it was this was like one of the first things i put on in my basket saw it on the model and thought wow it looks so good on her so i think that's why i'm so disappointed because like you see one thing you imagine it on you and this is what i end up looking like it's not the worst thing in the world i think if you think this style will suit you like Go for it. The fit is pretty decent. It would actually button up on me in a 24. Um, but yeah, the style's not for me and I'm not a huge fan of the quality. Um, let me just give you a close up of the material. I don't know how to describe this material. It's quite... It looks like a, tw no, it's not a twill, is it? No, it's a bit canvas looking, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a canvas. It's like a thick rough shirt material i don't know i'm just yeah. a bit disappointed in it no, guys not, not very good quality. so i'm afraid it's a no from me <laughs> and next up is potentially the set i'm most excited about so i did a river island haul oh, quite quite a while ago now and there was this beautiful um knitted co-ord set that i wear all the time in the winter and autumn obviously and then i saw this on um bloom chic and it looks so similar 
it in a different color in this beautiful white ivory color it's so so pretty and it's so so soft and very very similar um so you've just got two little straps it's a knitted cami you do buy these both separately so if you just fancy one or the other you can um, and also you can buy oh yeah so you can kind of like pick and choose the sizing you want um on both pieces so here is the little cami top and then you have the cardigan i absolutely love these sets these knitted sets i think they're so cute you've also got all this beautiful kind of like knitted detailing like grading and stuff down the sleeve um and the front of the cardigan there is none on the back however just so you are aware these feel so soft and like nice not too thick my river Island one is thick it's for cold days um but this is a little bit thinner which i appreciate um this is 52 percent acrylic 28% polyamide and 20% polyester. Um, it's so, so cute, super, super stretchy. Um, I did get both in a UK24, which is a 2XL. Um, I think I'm most excited for this just because I wore that blue one so, so much. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited. I think this is gonna be like so like Christmassy, ski chalet vibes. I know, I just said Christmas. I know, but it's like, for me there's only like three paydays until christmas so i'm just like it's on the brain i'm budgeting and planning already let's get this on um so this is definitely one of my favorite things that i've ever got from loom chic as i said i've got that blue on river island and i love it and this one's like basically the same but in white super super soft really stretchy um really comfortable i think definitely more for kind of like colder months more than autumn i think um but i just had to pick it up because i love my other one so much this is just so cute and i feel like these knitted curls are really hard to find in plus size so whenever i see one i always love to try them because i don't know why i just gravitate towards them i just find them really cute and comfortable to wear um an absolutely gorgeous cable knit print on both of them so you've got the sleeves you've got it on the top and you have it on the front of the cardigan um honestly it's super nice quality um one of the nice quality items from boom chic um <coughs> you also can buy these separately so if you just fancy the cardigan you can go for that or if you just fancy the top you can go for that but i say just go for both it's honestly like the cutest look um obviously i've got these on with some skinny jeans but I think with mum jeans as well, these really look so, so cute. More versatile than you think, definitely give it a go. Now let's get on to the dresses. So I will say I have, as I said, opened them already. Definitely hit and miss vibes. Um, will not lie to you. Some I think are so, so cute. Others I'm like, what are you thinking? And I think for me, obviously everything's personal opinion. The first one I'm like, <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, I think this dress could be good for like a work corporate environment potentially depending on what you can get away with at work I don't know what what I was thinking <laughs> I, I like all the colours together um, it's like a tunic with this like geometric animal print oh there's so much going on um has it got i can feel yeah so you can roll the sleeves up as well where's the button here it's a nice detail it feels really in a good quality i just i just don't know if it is for me um it also did come with um a tie as well i don't think there's belt loops if you could do whatever you like with the tie um you could use it on your handbag you could put it in your hair or you can waist tie it um i think i'm gonna have to see this one on me um the material isn't the worst there are worse feeling materials coming up i will not lie to you this one feels okay i think the pattern might just be a step too far for me but i do appreciate that they're doing a little more something different than the usual but sometimes it's just not 
not for me. It was hiding in a seam, guys. Um, so this is 100% polyester. So it might be a bit sweaty to wear. Mm, I think I'm gonna have to try this one on, see how I feel about it when I'm in it. This will definitely look great on somebody. Um, definitely if you are in more of an office environment, I feel. Um, I did get this in a 26, which is the 3XL. Um, just because it was a bit more of kind of like an A-line dress. I think we should be okay. Um, let's give it a go. So I'm not 100% sure what I was thinking when I picked this dress. I feel like it's very different, but also kind of like, I think I was attracted to the animal print, but I love this kind of like pinky tan color. Um, <laughs> it fits really nicely to be fair. Um, it's not hugging or clinging to any part of my body. Um, it's very comfortable, quite lightweight and airy. And I feel like if this was in black, I would really like it, or in navy, I think the silhouette and the style, um, apart from the sleeves being a little bit long, quite classy, um, and would be perfect for work. It's just the print is very bold. This is down to personal preference thing. If you love this print, this is a go-to dress. It's, it's nice, it's really nice. It feels really nice. At first I was a bit worried about the feel of the fabric, but actually I don't mind it. It's just the print for me is not my personal preference. It's very, very bold. What, what's the neckline? It's like under. a little like mock colour. Oh yes, yeah. A little like v-neck. Um, I think if you can rock this pattern, you go for it, girl. Um, and I feel like you could get away with wearing this to work, you, but you will be the star of the conference. Everyone will be looking at you on the Zoom. Definitely a standout dress, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I like the, the the size is great excellent size lots of like room in the dress um as i said if they did this in maybe a just a solid color uh, i think i would personally prefer that um obviously patterns and colors and stuff is all down to personal preference so if you love this pattern um i'd say go for it <laughs> so next up we have something that is super super autumn vibes and it's this gorgeous long sleeved maxi dress in this beautiful pumpkin will we say pumpkin um shade um beautiful so it has got a v neckline um and it has got some kind of dropped hems and tears um down the skirt and we have got some belt loops because we do have a little belt tie to go with it um we do have quite a nice little stretchy waistband as well it's got some good amount of give um, and we have long sleeves again with some elastication. Um, this I just thought was really, really cute, quite trendy. Um, and I do love a maxi dress going into to fall as well. Um, I just really, really like this one in particular. I did get this in a 24, because I thought if I got this in a 26, it might be too much. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted, just because it is quite, with the long sleeves and it being a maxi dress, I didn't want it to completely engulf me. I do like an oversized look, but sometimes it's best to go for something a little bit more fitted. Um, so super excited to try this one on. Again, it does feel like a polyester type material. So this is 65% polyester and 35% cotton. It does feel really nice though. Um, it, yeah, it's not scratchy, it's not plasticky. Um, I feel like I could wear this all day and, and be fine in it. Um, so let's try it on. Uh, so here we have this super autumnal um, maxi, midaxi dress. Um, it is very, very autumnal, um, very pumpkin-y. I really love the colour. Um, I will just say we are a little bit tight on this band here. But I don't know whether I would have gone up a size. I feel like it's actually fitting pretty nicely, to be honest. Uh, the bottom um, ruffles, <laughs> the bottom skirts are really swooshy and sway, but I feel like it's nice and fitted up top and not kind of drowning me. I do think if I got this maybe in an exercise up, it might have been too baggy. What do you guys think? Um, just bear that in mind. If you are a bit more bottom heavy, uh, this um, could potentially cut into you a little bit. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this dress. I think it's really nicely made, very autumnal, quite flattering. 
Um, and you could definitely style it in lots of different ways. You do also have this little waist belt. It does come with belt loops as well that kind of keep, keeps it in place. Um, obviously, you could do different things with the, these kind of ties if you don't want to use them. You could put them in your hair, put them on a handbag. It could look really cute. So this, I feel like velvet is definitely something you either love or you hate. I love velvet, just putting it out there. So I had these dresses from Topshop that I had for years that were velvet with all these like, I think like glitter polka dots and like patterns and stuff. I had three of them and I wouldn't give them up. And they were stretchy so I could fit in them. I think I was around like a UK 18, 20 at the time. And these were in a 16 and I got them on my body. And if at the time, I just wanted to wear Topshop because that was what the cool girls wore. Um, and I loved those dresses to pieces until basically none of the glitter was on there anymore. And it was just a velvet dress. Um, but this just transported me back to that, that dress. Um, it's this beautiful midnight blue uh, mock wrap dress um, with some beautiful gold stars and or suns whatever you fancy calling them a uh, beautiful skater dress and i've just noticed it does have a little modesty popper this is definitely one of the nicest feeling pieces from bloom chic um one thing i am noticing quite hit and miss some things i think are stunning like you know would pay double um but other things i'm like Ugh. Um, so I definitely recommend, if you're planning on placing a bloom sheet, definitely check a few YouTube videos out or, you know, head over to Instagram because um, I do find some stuff absolutely beautiful, uh, amazing quality, some stuff a bit disappointed in. I'm looking at you, tan jacket. <laughs> um, but this is absolutely beautiful. Nice stretch to it. And this is 100% polyester. Um, really, really love it. I got this in a, um, this is not 2XL, but it's saying it's a UK 22. The sizing as well is a bit all over the place. Um, so hopefully they get that sorted. <laughs> uh, I think probably with the extension of the sizing, that will help kind of the sizing out a little bit. Um, but yeah, really, really love this dress and nice cuffs on the sleeve too can't wait to try this one on so as expected i absolutely love this dress and i think it's absolutely a fantastic value for money um, i do find with bloom chic as i'm kind of trying the brand out more quite hit and miss you've got some stuff that i don't think the quality is there even for the, the price you're paying even though it's quite low i do think the quality is quite low but then you've got a dress like this and I think you could go into an MS, a phase eight, a monsoon, and pay well over 50, 60 pounds for it. It feels such nice quality. And I think it looks absolutely stunning on. I feel so good in this dress. I think it's beautiful and it's really well made. <laughs> um, so if you are looking for um, an evening dress, I think this could be an amazing option. It's super, super comfortable. It's this beautiful midnight blue with all of these beautiful gold glitter all over it and the, these arm cuffs are perfect. Slight elastication so you can get them on, but they're cinching in to give a nice kind of balloon sleeve effect. Um, honestly, guys, I need somewhere to wear this. Also a lovely length as well. You can show a little bit of leg, but you're not showing too much. Um, would also look nice with a black tight. I think I would go for a, a nude tight though. Kind of right over, I like my legs. <laughs> um, but this is gorgeous. There's also a really nice stretch to it. I can't remember what size I got in this. I can't remember if it came as a 22 or a 24. Um, but there is a good amount of stretch. So if they do do this in the 26th, I do believe there would be a bit of leeway maybe for it to stretch a little bit further, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but this dress, absolutely stunning. Can't recommend it enough. And I think we need to go on a winter cruise, Mum. Do you know, I think you're absolutely right. I think there's best pet book in it. <laughs> I'll have a look right now. <laughs> Sticking with the velvet theme, guys. I do love velvet. I know some people hate the feeling of it. I love the feeling of it. We've got this beautiful teal green 
um, cow neck velvet slinky number it's so beautiful what a color it is stunning we've got a bit of side ruching here i won't go too high with this i might just do a slight ruche um but it is quite long though actually it's almost like midi um, and this um thing goes all the way up the body it's really really beautiful um it is adjustable straps as well and we've got a bit of elastication here i think i got this yeah i got this in a uk 26 uh free xl and there's loads of stretch in this material too again another item that feels like really good quality um and looks like it's sized quite nicely um so this is 95 percent polyester and five percent spandex i love the color this beautiful like midnight teal absolutely stunning um is this christmas party worthy potentially <laughs> so we have another absolute winner i think uh my uh think my, my thoughts are definitely going for the velvet <laughs> um because this dress is hot <laughs> i feel like pure fire in this dress i feel sexy but i feel confident you know like i feel like you can see my curves but the curves i want you to see <laughs> you know what i mean um this dress is fab um, I did get this in a 26. I'm glad that I did. I just prefer a little bit more wiggle room in a bodycon dress. I do think it just helps things be a bit more flattering. Um, but you can uh, ruche this up quite a lot. So I believe, well, it came down to around here. So you can um, ruche up quite a bit. And it does go all the way up the body. I do think I could do with a bit of finessing of the ruching just so it kind of goes all the way up but that's just something you could do um, before you go out but I think this dress is so stunning I love the colour it's like a beautiful right, dark teal just moves to the other way um, I'm trying to show the the shift oh you want to see this yes yes it goes all the way up and I think on the video it looks quite blue, as in navy bluish. Oh, it's definitely got an emerald. No, it's teal definitely green to it. em emerald greeny blue. And when the velvet moves in the opposite way of the nap, it sort of almost looks really, really dark black. Oh, it's lovely. I think if you're going to like a nightclub, um, well, some of these restaurants are like almost like a nightclub. Um, this would be perfect. I know it can be really difficult to find going out clothes that are sexy and flattering to a plus size body. Uh, this is 100 million percent staying in my wardrobe forever <laughs> for that precise occasion. Um, I think this nude tights, girls get your legs out, get some nude tights on, go to snag.com and I would, I would attempt to wear heels with this dress. I like it that much. Um, so huge, 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 huge thumbs up. And of course, I'm sure it was an absolute steal of the price. And then an interesting take on an autumn floral um, was this navy dress. I thought it was really beautiful. The, um, the orange, the turquoise and the navy blue thought that was very very different but very beautiful we've got kind of a sweetheart neckline we've got some poofy sleeve poofy long sleeves um and then a bit of an empire or skater skirt and then either a midi or a maxi dress we'll have to try it on to see um but i just thought it was really really pretty i got this in a 26 um, just because it was um, a stiff material, a polyester, um, I did want it to be a little, maybe a bit more forgiving because there is no stretch. Yeah, so this is 100% polyester um, and that is why I decided to size up. But I just thought, um, I know it's a floral, but a very different take on a floral. Um, I think it's super, super pretty. Let's try it on. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with this dress. Um, I think it's really, really pretty on and it's definitely something I could see myself wearing, especially to someone like work or something. I think it's a, it's an excellent length as well. It's not maxi, so it's not completely drowning me out. Um, it's not too short, short where I wouldn't wear it to work. <laughs> um, it's, it's definitely a bit more of like a, an A-line dress, so it's definitely a bit 
um, figure hugging up here, but I did get this in a 26 because I did think that when I saw it on the model. So I did size up and it fits me perfectly. Um, and it's giving me really nice kind of like streamline, um, but a little bit of a flare um, skirt. And I think that's super, super flattering, but I'd always recommend just sizing up um, on dresses like these because the extra bit of fabric always does help. Um, and I love the contrasting colors. Um, I know I've been all about florals being boring, but I feel like because you've got the orange and the blue contrast, it's really different and unusual. And it's definitely more of like a paisley print. That's just so beautiful. And I think of the makeup looks, guys. Think of the makeup looks. Yes. It's really beautiful. Also, nice sweetheart neckline, as you can see here. And it's got quite a nice, like, flattering top and also i feel if you've got a bigger chest there's a lot of room in there for you um i would just say sleeves are slightly loose slightly loose but um to be honest i'd rather them be loose than too tight and um, so again we're loving the dresses big thumbs up and then finally guys it's a bit of a womp 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 womp, womp. i love the color the material is kind of similar to this one but worse. <laughs> See, I love the pattern on this one so much that I forgive the material. But this one feels like parachute material and I'm gutted. It's very like, when you hear it, it's like plasticky. And it's such a shame because I love the colour and the print. Um, it's a button, long sleeve, like smock dress. Oh, I thought it was really, really cute on the model. I'm not loving the feel of the material. 5% um, cotton, 95% polyester. I think this one's about a 50-50 split. And maybe while it feels feels a bit better, where this one, I just don't like the feel of it at all. Um, yeah, I feel like there was def this definitely been a bit more of a hit and miss haul. Um, we have got long sleeves with elasticated cuffs. Um, what size did I get you in? Got this in the 26 because of buttons. Buttons always scare me. Um, but yeah, let's try it on. Maybe try it on, make me feel a bit better about it. But mm, I don't know. So from afar and on the website, this dress looks really cute. Um, but the material, guys, is unforgivable. It is sticky on. Um, it feels like parachute material. I'm so upset by it. I think if this was like a jersey or a cotton or just a better quality material, um, this would have been lovely. It does gape as well um, on the buttons. It's such a shame because it's such a beautiful print and colour. Um, that's why I picked it out. But and if you can like, can you hear that? I feel like that's an indication of the material, like plastic. Oh, is there is it a bit like shower curtain? Oh, it is a bit like shower curtain, guys. If I I can, well, you probably do exactly the same thing as me. Go on the website and think that's such a cute dress and put it straight in your basket. But the material, guys, is just not. Just not the one. Comfort is king. Skip out on this dress. So guys, a little bit of a hit and miss haul from Bloom Chic there. Um, they are really good, good with taking feedback. Um, so I'm sure they'll watch this video and kind of take uh, my thoughts on board. We'd just recommend maybe just go and have a look and watching some other videos if you're planning on, t uh, you know, placing an order get my words out um there are some actual gems on there that like i've worn quite a few of my pieces um already like they're in the wash um and there's definitely some items here that i know i will wear loads um i think it's just finding them and kind of working out what pieces are worth buying i will leave my discount code here on screen and everything will be linked down below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, let me know what your favourite piece was down below. If you'll be picking anything up, I would love to know. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!